Welcome to the 2009 Embedded Systems Conference from Boston. Hi, I'm Mike Ballard with the Home Appliance Solutions Group at Microchip. All right, it's me again, Bill Giovino. Uh, and we're looking here at a Microchip Zigbee demo. I'm a big fan of Zigbee. So uh, John Day, FAE from Microchip, show us what this does. Okay, uh, what we have here is uh, one of Microchip's uh, M. Here we are at the uh, scalable USB solution. Um, you can see we have various solutions here. control being driven off of one of our PWMs on this microprocessor and over the internet. Hi, my name is Alex Paul and I'm the editor for ECN Magazine, Electronic Component News. And today I'm sitting here with uh, Clayton Pillion, who is with the uh, High Performance MCU Division of Microchip. So Clayton, how are you doing? Welcome to Embedded Systems Conference in Boston, Massachusetts. My name is John Day and I'm a field application engineer in the Boston area. Today I'd like to demonstrate Microchip's um, USB solutions. And uh, what we're going to show today is um, not only the... My name is Bill Giovino and I am your webmaster for microcontroller.com. I'm here today with Clayton Pillion and he is the uh, MCU marketing manager for the PIC32 from Microchip. Hello Clayton. Hi Bill, good to be here. And we'll be doing a set down with John Day, a, one of the field application engineers for Microchip. I can actually change the lighting hue going to those lights, and you can see that obviously they're, that's adjusting the, um, the, the level of intensity. Applied by the assist level, but in addition to that, you also have a throttle lever, and with that throttle applications and customers who are going to be key and critical to making the smart grid a reality. Microchip's integrated, not only transceiver, but you can buy this as a complete FCC certified module. This uh, player one will press his X here. Uh, player one notice cannot press any other is uh, constrained is no longer to press any X's until player two presses his O. 